One of the most powerful features of Toon Boom Studio is the auto lip sync. So you can import your sound files. What Toon Boom will do is basically analyze that sound file that you've brought in and then assign phonemes so it looks as if the character is actually talking. Now, don't get me wrong. I was a huge fan of doing lip sync manually and no machine is going to tell me what to do. But I can tell you this, I have started using this and even if you have the auto lip sync do all the changes for you, you can still go in and tweak it. And trust me, my workload and production pipeline, it's amazing. So enough about that. Let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my grid here so I can see what I'm doing. And the first thing I want to do is import our sound. So let's go to file, import file, and I'm going to import the file lemonade with lime. So I'll click on open. All right. And so we have the sound here and it's a lot longer than any of our other little drawings here. So I'm just going to go to the end. All right, and I'm going to make sure that the nose, eyes, mouth, and head are all as long as our sound file. So I'm going to select all these, just holding down my shift key. And let's extend the exposure. Command shift one, control shift one on PC. All right, so we have all of our mouth set. And what I want to do next is I'm going to simply right click on our sound layer and we can go up to edit sound and if i select sound element you can see it down here we can see what the lip sync will look like so if i click lip sync it has now analyzed all that information if you watch this little box up here it's going to show the default little animation and you'll see what the lip sync will look like she'll have sweet tea with lemon and i'll have Lemonade with lime. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I've already set that up, click on OK. And I'll right click on this again. And this time, what I want to do is modify lip sync mapping. Sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. All right, so what we have here is the mapping. Here are the different phonemes, and they're broken down by letters. And basically saying, where are we going to assign this to? So the source element, the sound, is the lemonade with lime.aif, and the destination element is basically what layer do we want to use? We don't want to use the mouth sketch. We want to use the mouths. And because we've gone in and already labeled each of our drawings correctly, we don't even have to change any of these. But if you were to change them, for instance, if you had called G like F or PH, you would simply type that in here. But my suggestion is, at least at the very beginning, keep the simple A through G and then adding X. All right, so once we click on OK, what's happened is if we look at the mouths layer, we now see different lines here and basically the drawings have been swapped out, so it's done the auto lip sync. So now if we play this. She'll have sweet tea with lemon, and I'll have lemonade with lime. Okay, looks pretty decent. She'll have sweet tea with lemon, and I'll have lemonade with lime. And there's our auto lip sync. So as long as you have your phonemes mapped correctly, Using auto lip sync is a massive time saver.